All right, Charles is on the line now from Virginia. Hey, Charles. Yay, how you doing? Excellent, thank you. What is your question? Good. I've got uh, bass and brim or, or crappie in a pond, uh, about an acre and a half pond. All of them are filled with little white worms in the tails, in the gills, uh, even in the meat. What uh, will kill the worms? Wow. Well, <laughs> you want to take that? I'd answer, sure, it, but I'll I have no clue. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Fine. Okay. Well, what what he's talking about there, uh, Charles, you have yellow grubs or white grubs, and and the way that you get grubs into a pond, they're common. I see them all over the nation. I mean, from New York to Montana, all the way back into Texas, right. throughout Florida, they're everywhere. Uh, they're not really that big of an issue, other than they're visible. But where they come from, is they come from water that's really clear, that has a lot of vegetation and snails. Snails are the primary host for that parasite, mm -hmm. and they're released from the snails and then go into the fish. The, that's the, 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 the bad news is that you can't get them out of the fish. Once they're in there, they're there. But if you, uh, you check your laws in Virginia and see if you can buy a fish called red ear. Red ear sunfish eat snails. So if you can eliminate yeah. some of the snails, then you eliminate the host of the parasite, and then in, in years to come, you'll diminish that parasite. Wow. That's where the, the red ear gets its nickname is the shellcracker. And the reason is for that. They're eating snails and they can, they can break their shell.